Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. So it's gotta get started in three, two, one, go. Super hot coffee today. I'm only about to have a door. No, no, no. Let them do this. Let them do this. I love how we get no opening to that kitchen. No, it's not deserving. We just need to get into the action. But so have you. Because she wouldn't be doing this if she didn't believe in you. Oh. <laughs> Stop, it's too much. It's pretty.
吼。I thought Yuffie would have stopped like at the last moment. Oh dang, that little chunk. Oh, it was. I keep reminding you that. I mean, mm. That's right. Who knows where she would be? Okay, but y'all just kiss. I mean, y'all are just perfect at saying all these other versions of I love you, and we haven't done the D. Oh my, we're starting, we're ending on where we started it, except the this. Oh. Because you're not useless. Peace. Freaking peace. Uh. Hmm? I mean, I was about to say, like, yeah.
Aquarius. It's a possibility. Finally. Finally. Oh my God. 12 episodes and finally. <laughs> I mean, and besides you kids,
freedom. Oh, okay, never mind. I want to cry so bad right now. Oh my god.
Jesus Christ, this is too much for the final episode. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Oh my god. Goodbye. That was so fucking cute. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But number one, yes. Finally. After 12. Yes, 12. Oh my god. Jesus. Hold on. I gotta make sure on that. Cause yeah, 12. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. 12 episodes. Oh my god. It's okay. It was a good behind slow burn. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. And I, and maybe I can speak for, like, majority of my subscribers with this. So, remember the episode when they fought the dragon and how very, like, quality-wise that was good and such? I think a lot of us, and I can also speak for myself as, in a way, that kind of felt like the last episode and such like okay aka like the not not like the true ending but one of multiple endings and such and then like i don't know why i was treating it like a freaking atoma game for like a moment but like yeah after that i was like okay we're kind of like continuing from this ending you know here's this ending where you know you two almost died but you didn't and then slowly but surely we're just getting the true ending where you two finally get together this is that ending that they're finally together they're happy and you know even though one of them is an immortal something also tells me eventually honest will find a way to make herself immortal as well so that they could be together forever um but it also makes me think about what I read when I watched episodes one and two so many weeks ago and looking into Yuffie's character and seeing what else is going to happen to her and then eventually because since we it's very obvious because at first when you're looking at this from the beginning like you know okay honest definitely wears the pants in the relationship now nah, they really much switch this because freaking Yuffie? I mean, girl, oh my god. The, like, to see how this child has grown from episode one to this episode, to the fact is that this one is the freaking woman, in, no, she is the man in the relationship, and Honest is just the female, like, she's just the cute little dainty female, and I love it. It's so freaking adorable, because she is, like, over here, and she was very demanding her guess, and it was just so cute. Oh my god. It was just, oh my god. But yes, you're for the win at the end of the day. Like, babies won the yuri we won that's all i care about because yes the biggest thing was to see these two get together now it's funny because i went on twitter like an hour ago and i saw like a little bit of like talks about it even though i hadn't seen the episode yet um so i saw a picture of them almost kissing but i was like i don't want to see anything until i watch the episode and so somebody really also said this is what you know 
where is the recoil should have been. And, and I get that too. Yes, I would have liked it to see those two officially be together, kiss, whatever. But from the ending of them in Hawaii and stuff and doing the marital thing, they're, they're, they're together. Plus, we're getting a season two. So we're, we're going to see them together regardless. So, I mean, yes, it's bound to happen and such. I mean, seriously. And I'm just waiting for all my yaoi stuff to do the same thing too. I mean, one of my yaois is doing that. Like, thank freaking God. And then we got the spin-off with the yaoi. Yay! But I'm also waiting for that too. But, I mean, seriously, this was good. There were times where when I was watching it, like, weekly after watching one and two together, where I was like, where are we going with this? And even especially with the, you know, the battle with the dragon and such, and then wondering, where are we really going with this now? And I think that's probably around maybe like two weeks after that episode where a lot of people either were like, I'm going to continue this or I'm going to dip. And I feel like a lot of people did dip out of the, after that episode because that was a really good episode. And then two episodes later, it just, to, I think to a lot of people, it just plummeted. But like, I am one of those people where it's like, I feel like we're, we're going to get something good at the end of this. So I want to see the big all grand conclusion of how this is all going to end. And boom, we fucking got it. Married. Wives. Together. Happiness. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I'm just happy. Oh my God. It just, this was so just good. Very underrated in my opinion. Um, I don't know if, was there any other Yuri show that was airing that, like, did, I don't, I don't know because I didn't watch anything else, but who knows, like I said, hella underrated, I mean, would I watch it again? Oh, of course, yeah, I mean, because it's cute, it's adorable, like I said, the pacing was a little off on times, but still, it was really good, I mean, hey, you know what, props to freaking What's-Her-Face from Bochy the Rock, because if you would have told me during Bochy the Rock that she would be paying, you know, a girl reincarnated into a princess and she falls in love with a girl I probably would have looked at you like nah that's never gonna happen I mean cuz well I mean cuz like in my opinion also her, her character in Bochy the Rock I felt like she was also like a year eight you know she was a little guy too but you know we'll never know on that give me season two of Bochy the Rock I'm just saying but you know we'll never know Unfortunately. <laughs> but I am excited to see what her say does um essentially after this I mean really for both of them and such. I mean, heck, you even had the freaking maze fall in love with each other, too. So it was double the yuri. So regardless, I'm so happy. We're just so damn good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of <clears throat> the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all well in like less than two weeks for spring anime um this sunday for the mystery shows and then you know whatever else is going to come out in the next couple of weeks because i think really for spring like for my shows i don't think i have anything started until either the week while i'm on vacation or the week i come back from vacation i'm not 100 percent sure because I know Demon Slayer isn't starting until two weeks from now. And I don't remember about all the, what, eight other, no, seven other shows on certain days. But something tells me this kind of Super Mega Mean spinoff, you probably coming on Wednesday. So, yeah. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.